Hey game makers, Nelderson here. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick update on my save uh, cloud system, where we're at, what's going on, because I've been getting a lot of questions and I figure I'd uh, I'd uh, get this straight away. So I know in the last video uh, it wasn't complete, but I, I got it to a point where we could save and load from the database. Uh, I kind of uh, I went back and kind of cleaned everything up a little bit, so just to kind of go over what's going on, how it all works, so that way we can all be from the same page. Okay, so the first thing that I did was that 204 or 203, whatever we used, did not work, so I had to do it to a 200, and I sent the data of no account, which is then, if it is seen, it checks it. Oh, I know, I just saw it a second ago. Ah, data equals no account return, so that it loads a new game if there's no data. Okay, so I did I did do a little bit of error handling. I did a little bit of cleanup. Um, you know, just tested out a couple things. There's a couple things I did over here that's a little different. Uh, the first thing that I did was overwrite this scene menu, command save. Since we're not doing save to local with this system, uh, this just overwrites the save command. So as soon as you hit the save command, it literally just runs the save game without rescue and then processes the cancel. On the command window okay so you go into your main menu you hit save it saves and just closes out okay uh, load game without rescue nothing's new here there's nothing new anywhere up ah, this so uh, remember we were trying to alias that connect sockets after login off of the game network and we were getting this weird thing where it wasn't allowing us to um, to connect to the server, we kept uh, failing out and all that good stuff. And the reason why it was doing that is because this Ajax wasn't set up. So when we were running this post request, uh, the way that the server knows that it's you is actually um, because you have that token in your parameter. So the token in the header. So the x-axis token uh, header has your token in it. So that's you. that's done when you connect to a socket automatically the problem is we're running this this load function before that so it was just a little bit of a timing issue i just set the ajax header right here not a huge deal um, and then load game without rescue now uh, a thing that we didn't that i did notice uh people were saving with how i did it on screen with that uh you know the save game without rescue where are we here so i you know put in a a, a Oh, how did I do it? Hold on. Give me a second. Let me open let me open this thing up. Alright, we got our good old project six up. That's load game without rescue. What about sit? How did I do save game again? My goodness, it hasn't been that long. There we go. Save game without rescue. So you can still do it like this, where it's the save game without rescue. However, before you do it. Uh, it was found that there's an issue with um, there's an issue with other players on the map. So my network player script. So if you look at my network player script, um, what's going on here? Really quick, without getting too deep into this, um, pretty much it creates. This is probably a better way to show it. It creates events whenever you make a network player. So what's happening is it's trying to update events that just aren't there. Uh, when you load it back up again. So the way that I got around this was uh, whenever you call the main menu, it just completely clears out this network event. Okay. So you technically could take this right here, the game map, clear all network player events. We can copy that over and we can put it right before we save and this will work. So if you have something like a, like a save point or something like that, you could do something like this. We could also, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, we could actually take this and probably put it in this save game without rescue. I'll update that in, in a little bit, but you can do it like this as well. I just wanted to come out with this because a lot of people have been coming to me and saying that it doesn't work. Um, if you have a save game that is corrupted, you're going to have to delete it out of your MLAB. So, uh, you know, don't be shy if you have to do that. You know, just go into your MLab. 
Log in. I'm just gonna kill a collection just to show you how easy it is if you're using MLab. So if I come into saves and I wanna kill username B save, I can just trash it right here. Okay, so don't be afraid to trash your collection if you have to, uh, and then try again, and it should work just fine. So like I said, if you're, if you're calling it from the main menu, this is all working. You just go to the save button, you hit the save button, and it just works. And once again, this is updated in online network players. Uh, it's 1.0.4, I believe. I just did this on here as a hotfix, but I believe on GitHub I have it all updated. So let's just check that real quick before I commit to that. Uh, it would be network players. Yep, net player fix for the cloud save issue. Okay, so make sure you get the newest online network players and then the newest online cloud save, which is 0.1.1. .1, and this should be all set. So like I said, if you're gonna do this, like, you know, you're gonna do like a checkpoint or a save point or something like that, just make sure to run this, this uh, clear all network player events beforehand. Uh, I'm also gonna include it in the save game without rescue or the save game. Where did I have that save game without rescue? It's just a save. So maybe I'll put it like right in here or something like that. I, I'll, I'll figure this out. Um, but here's what I want you to worry about if you're still having problems in your game or you want it to work in your game. Uh, Cause I've been getting a lot of questions about it, but between these two fixes, this should work, okay? Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, I'm hard at work, working on a uh, couple new plugins, starting to get something ready to show um, the socket modules, and and we're gonna take a deeper dive into socket modules. Uh, I think this was a nice, a nice introduction to API and especially uh, MongoDB and how Mongoose works and and that kind of thing. All right, uh, later, game makers.